1971 with Iron Black and Tech and Power Moves. I was encouraged to sit you down and talk to you. So I'm gonna figure it out for some people that, cause I've interviewed a lot of my friends. So it's the first time I've totally interviewed somebody I don't know at okay. all. Okay, so, all right, all right. Um, this is gonna be cool. So I'm gonna get to learn about you as the world learns about all right. you. All right. So first question is Isaac, when did you fall in love with Tech? Oh, fall in love with Tech. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, honestly, we had to be back in the 80s, so my father uh, was into tech, so we used to have computers all around the house, Okay. and I promise you, I was like, I only want to use them for games, and he would always try to tell me, this is the future of our world, you should be a programmer, uh, and because uh, I was really good at math and science, and so he said, like, you should be a programmer, but I talk too much, my father's a pastor, so I was like, I like to be engaged <laughs> with people, and I was like, and I see him typing all day, and just sitting in front of a computer, and I was like, I can't do that, I gotta be outside, Okay. Uh, so, so I went a different path, an undergrad, but my father has an electrical engineering degree. Okay, and my so father he, has a mechanical engineer. Yeah, and so okay. and so he's doing and and uh, and so then I saw my friends when when I left school I had an undergrad in microbiology and I saw the the income I can make and the income my guys in, in computer science and I went back to my father and was like, hey, that's something you <laughs> talked about when I was a shorty. I should have listened to you right, a little bit right. more. So anyway, so uh, so now as opposed to even going back and doing it, what I've done is just educate myself on how I can now leverage that on a business sense of saying, how do I now use this technology or these skill sets in all aspects of business and business growth and business development. So as opposed to me to directly doing it, I just understand it enough so I can leverage it to make my business better and make other people's business better. So that's great, great segue. What exactly do you do in tech and innovation? Because I have no idea. <laughs> well, well let, and let, let me walk backwards so one so right now uh, so I work as I'm the senior advisor uh, for business development for the US Department of Commerce so okay. I was appointed by um, uh, President Barack Obama to serve in this role so right now I oh with, that's all we had to get your camera <laughs> so, yeah, the so, big 44 okay, okay. so, so I, I work in the administration but one of the focuses that we have is on innovation and uh, innovation and tech Okay. and tech transfer and so when, what, what our role is doing is how do we grow minority businesses uh, how do we grow them and then be globally competitive and in the space where technology is booming in all industries we need to make sure there's inclusion of minority businesses in this space and so what we're doing in this space is trying to figure out players opportunities the uh, and then the the minority businesses where they at and how do we match these opportunities okay. so uh, when I mean opportunities opportunities in capital uh, contracts and markets and then the minority businesses that are already in the space, uh, how do we connect them real time? And then what do we do in the future for uh, emerging uh, minorities in the space and how do we connect them? So our role right now is on a national level. I just had to them. shift my whole body language. It's like, hold up. Well, just in case the Barack see this, I might want <laughs> Barack, I need some of that money before you get out of office. But it, all right, that's, that's deep. That's a lot more than I expected. I'm like, oh, he got an app. But. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not that cool. You, so, so you that do right yeah, now. So, so what I can say is like we connect. We like so. So the app to give to give sustainability and growth. That's the space that we're at. So we try to identify the the individuals who are creating these technologies, just like uh, the individuals we heard from today. And so, so you're so, like our inclusion at the White House. Yes. Yep. Yep, and, and, and like I said, and that's what we're focusing heavily on is inclusion uh, in, in innovation. And once again, what does that look like? Why haven't you spoke at more places? Why don't I know you, man? Well, I, I guess they're keeping me behind closed doors. Yeah, we got to change that. Yeah, I'm yeah. about to send this right to Matt Hagman <laughs> at the Knight Foundation. Get this brother to Miami to speak. So see, this is the thing, though. All that was good, but I need to know something about you. Okay. So we going to hope your daddy ain't watching this. <laughs> Because I need to know, what is your favorite craft beer or your favorite cocktail to drink? Oh. Uh, I'm hoping you at least drink something. I'm hoping. Well, well, look, let, let me, I'll say this. I used to be a bartender. Okay. I, I'm, uh, so, so I would go, so I'm a, I'm a light guy, but uh, I, I like, uh, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit older now, so I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say old day. Uh Man, that's a good question. So. I'll just say I'll just say a, a, a nice whiskey. I was I was about to, you know what I was really about to say? Yeah. McKellen eighteen is what I would probably buy you if we was at the bar. <laughs> I would get you a McKellen like, eighteen. I like the way you think. Because I, like I can't it. afford the twenty five. And I don't know you that well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's disrespectful we'll to get you to eight or the twelve because it's like you ain't making that much. Well, you know what? No, what, what we do? So once we, we connect you to some contracts, we do that twenty five. <laughs> yeah, we'll so that's all. So, so it's I'm on buying you the bottle. I'm not buying you the twenty five at the bar. That's too much for one one glass of whiskey. That's, that's real. That's, that's real. Like, that's real. Hey, I could hey. just bought a whole bottle for that. Hey, you ain't lying. You so ain't lying. okay, if your business life 
this journey, if it was a TV show or a movie, mm. what TV show or movie would it be? Ooh, TV show or movie. That's a good one. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, you know what? It'd be, uh, let's do it, Coming to America. <laughs> yeah, all the way there. Because <laughs> we, we go say, so, so I'll say, so I'm starting off with some favor. So I already, cut, I, I, I kicked off uh, uh, with some favor, but I needed to get some real life experience. So but I'd like to, as a, and then I'm going to use So you was the Princess Eddie, you need oh, yeah. to come to Brooklyn to get it broken oh, yeah, down exactly. until you get that experience. Exactly, and, that, and that's what I say. So I'm going to use a little face, and my daddy's a pastor, so they always say, oh, we, you know, we're a royal priestess. So we already had the favor, but I had to go and get some experience to understand the favor that yeah, I had. in place, right? It Exactly, and then and then I found that that extra favor that was particular for me. So my parents told me about some favor, and that's the that's the girl who used to bark like a dog. So they told me I had favor, but I had to go find my favor for myself. So when I found the favor for myself, we live in happily ever after. I'm telling y'all right now, about 18 of y'all didn't catch that. Just rewind it, go back about 32 seconds, listen to it again, because I know you're like, what did he? It was deep. Go ask your mama about that. He went there. All right. So what do you feel? I guess we we'll switch it up because you're not really an entrepreneur. You're the you're the plug, pretty much. Mm -hmm. What do you feel is one of the biggest challenges of, I guess, getting the companies to you? Like, what's one of the things you want to see overcome so that we can help these businesses grow? Oh, that's an outstanding question. So, so now, not uh, I'm not an entrepreneur in the tech space, but before joining the uh, the administration, I had my own consulting firm that started uh, when I was 26. So, okay. so I did that, and one it was to build capacity within businesses. Uh, and so one of the things, I, I would, there's three things that I always talk about in, in, uh, in business development. Uh, it's financial capital, uh, human capital, and social capital. One of the things you see uh, in minority business that we lack is not only the, the financial capital, but it's actually human capital. I mean, I'm sorry, social capital is okay. the biggest one. And we mentioned it earlier in the panel, was that uh, opportunities are connected to people. Right. We're not connected. Uh, that's Plain true. and simple. And so we talk about the, where's the dollars, where's this at? It's opportunities are connected to people. We'll go to Harvard, we'll go to all the nice schools, we'll be at these nice places. And I was like, but we don't connect the people. So we'll present and then we'll leave. And it was and I always uh, challenge individuals is not just to get a business card, but get a meal or get something on the books of where you're sitting down and doing just this. How do I ask these questions of who you are? And so, uh, and so that's one of the things I think is. Uh, is and I think really like what you're saying right now would be very important because sometimes opportunities like this are missed. If somebody wouldn't have said the right thing to me, I wouldn't have known that you are who you are. And I could have missed this opportunity, and now it's my responsibility to tell four more people. Yeah, you should know I. Yeah, and it, it continues from there. And th and that's exactly. I don't think. Hold on, do one that. second. Thomas. Thomas. Can you get them? Unless you don't want them to hear this. I thought that was my theme music. Nah, the I was, it was dope, but I was like. <laughs> I mean, we still recording. I come with my own theme music. Oh, my gosh. I know they can easy for me on editing at all. This ain't supposed to be easy, brother. This is two techies <laughs> live. <laughs> live and direct. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. So, so I got to put like, hey, we're having audio difficulties <laughs> during this part. Nah, you let it roll. We, this, we ain't editing like that. We wrong, wrong. Y'all getting it wrong. This is what happened. You want it? But y'all know Isaac now. There we go. They got there the opportunity now. This is, a, this is access they didn't have. Hey, that's access. And and the this. person that stopped watching this, they like, well, no, Isaac. They probably missing out on every opportunity yes, they, they need. Are. Yes, they are. Don't let the audio stop the stop the blessing. So, I mean, that's hey. just a part of it. Because, I mean, on the technical side, you've explained your journey. Because mm -hmm. computer science, you had yeah. that opportunity. You come back. But now you're working for the administration. Yeah. You're giving opportunities to other people. Mm -hmm. But when I say two words, I want to know your gut response mm -hmm. diversity and inclusion uh, po done poorly your position I'm gonna let it let, I'm gonna let it stay at that because <laughs> I, I could see that rabbit hole being very long <laughs> we're gonna have to do that over that McKellen that's that's, a, that's that post I want to see it done better but it's just not done we use the words man but it's just not done we like everyone uses those words but no one knows what it means what like, plan would you put in place to fix it if you had a quick a quick plan, not a quick fix. Mm -hmm. you accountability. Quick. When you say it, I need a measurement. If you don't meet it, I need an accountability, plain and simple. I don't need you to keep talking about it because we, we gloss over those terms and be like, ooh, since I said it, I'm free. 
I know. I need you. To, what's your measurement? What's your timeline? If you don't meet it, what's the what's the repercussion? We've said that in our office. Don't just tell us that. Mm-hmm. I want to know exactly how many seats you plan on filling. Exactly. When you tell me the seat fill, and when you hit that number, even if you tell me it's two, mm-hmm. I don't care if it's low. I just want those two people there. Exactly. And I mean, and this and this is the real conversation. And like I said, how, and once again, what are you held? What are you held to? And so once again, this is something we're talking about. And so we, we have these things in our laws that we have to have a diversity and inclusion, and they're not met, but no one's held accountable. So once again, the words sound sexy. But you know what? They are held accountable for. Mm-hmm. If you don't reach that prison population in those contracts, come on. Now. If the occupancy of that prison isn't rated to 97%, yeah. the prison can legally go back and sue the state and the police officers for not having enough prisoners in the prison, but you can't do that for diversity and inclusion. That's what I'm talking about. That, like I said, so you about to make me go talk. to church. Now hey, I'm feeling like all day. Hey, let's go. Like I said, we're <laughs> we here to talk. We're here to empower and encourage. But once again, I need to educate you on what this real is because once again, you know, you got repercussions for not having enough criminals, but not for having enough people with jobs. Exactly. And then we talk about this 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 great wealth divide. Once again, we're not held accountable for this this divide. So once again, accountability. So yeah. So that Very that was something. that's my 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 reaction simply because it, it sometimes it irritates me when I hear the words simply because no one's talking about what they're gonna do to to actually, to actually do it. something. We just like to use them and say, since I said it, I and should uh, be a good. And, and since I said it very articulately, well, I brought the diversity in the room, guess what, I'm done. But I was like, but none of these have contracts, or the businesses aren't growing. But I said the words. I ain't even gonna do that because we gotta close this out. But yeah, we gonna have to talk to you. We gonna have to get you on a podcast. Okay. Cause okay. Cause you, you worth an hour of time. Um, you got one year, total access, their money, their knowledge, their time. One person that can mentor you for a year. Who you spending that year with? I say Warren Buffett. One, because it's just money. So money changes things. And, and I talk about this in, in consulting with churches, small businesses, uh, social enterprises, nonprofits, no money, no mission. So whatever you're trying to get to, if you have no money, you Can't ain't getting that. So, and this man knows how to. Uh, he he's knows the, he's the to bridge to everything. Exactly. And like I said, if he can teach me how to get money, I can teach my people how to get money. So, so now we got a soundtrack to you getting money. There's a soundtrack of life. <laughs> You get to pick out one song mm-hmm. or one album for that soundtrack. What is it? Mm, okay. One album, one soundtrack, money. Man, I'm just thinking money, money. Oh, it could be your life now. It don't have to be just getting okay. money. Just your okay. life, your journey. Ooh, that's, man, that's we making dope. your movie, your documentary. What is that soundtrack? What's that background? Mm, uh, Man, you know, I'm just going to have to go with one of my favorite songs. It's Michael Jackson, I Want to Rock With You. So I just, just because, like, All right. and that's that's it. Because if, if you're happy, hey, I want to rock with you. Off the wall. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We just, we, yeah, we just, we just going to go ahead and go that way. Because hey, so, yeah, yeah. I, I, guess, I got some spiritual ones, but then I got to go with a sermon with that one. So yeah. you got to explain them. That's gotta, why we got to do that hour <laughs> podcast, man. So we're all in the game. And some of the last two things, we'll wrap it up. Um, what's your legacy? You walk away. How do you want to be defined as your legacy? Uh, I want to say that that uh, that we did the hard labor and built the foundation. I don't want people to remember my name. I want them to remember what we built. Uh, so, and I'll give an example. Uh, when you pass an outstanding building, no one ever asks. Uh, and the two has been there for centuries. No one ever asked who built the foundation. They're always looking at the facade, the interior. But the reason why that building still stands is because the people who labored in the foundation are the reason why Made it stands sure it for years. And like, but no one ever says, "Oh, the person who built the foundation, their name is not on the wall. Their name, their statue is not on the building." But once again, that foundation is the reason why I stay for hundreds of years. So I want to be the person that come by the building and say, "Man, this." This, this, this movement has been around for 100 years. I don't remember the cat who did the foundation. I'm just glad it's here. So, if, so it's building that foundation. All right, so how can the world get with you on social media? How can they find you? Oh, that's a, LinkedIn now is the, uh, is, is the best way to the I best told way to y'all, <laughs> notice the pattern. Notice the pattern. Money talks about LinkedIn. They don't need you in their personal life. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, link there. Find me on LinkedIn. Please connect with me. And like I said, I would love to. And like anybody in my network that you need access to, reach out to me. Like I said, because it's about connection. So like I said, look at my LinkedIn page. See who you like on there. Reach out to me, and then I'll connect you, and we'll go from there. Tradition, kind of like the church. Mm-hmm. Uh, in our meetings, everybody will close out with one word. I'm going to join you with this one. My one word is defined. 
What's your word? Discipline. Define discipline. Say that one more time. Discipline. All right, Isaac. Brother, thank you for oh, your time. It was definitely my I'm pleasure. Glad they made me do this. I'm glad. I need I to get appreciate you. It. Thank you very much. I appreciate much. it. Now the collection plate is coming right after this sermon. <laughs> All right. <laughs>